Today we're going back to the past. We're going to install Hone Development's adjustable pedal kit. After going to PBIR, I was really determined to try to uh, remedy my troubles with heel toe brake pedal and shifting that I've been having for years with this car. I don't know if it's just my body type and my seat position and the pedal position, but I needed to try to figure out a way to make it better. So I decided to start by using Hone Development's new brake pedal adjustment kit. It's basically new pedal faces for the existing pedals you have in your car, and it gives you some adjustability with the brake pedal position and the throttle pedal position. I got the kit from them, and it's not sponsored. I bought the kit, and I wanted to give it a try, see if I could really make heel-toe downshifts easier on track. Uh, the main issue I've been having is that um, to put enough pressure on the brake pedal, I was not able to blip the throttle like I would like. So it was missing shifts by not braking hard enough, or I was not able to blip the throttle and um, was dropping the clutch. That's what I was hoping this kit would be able to help me with, and it has helped me some. So let's get into the install. So I am going to do a POV install here. Um, the reason I have the pedals on the workbench is because I have EK9 Type R pedals installed in the car and you can't install these on EK9 pedals. So I had to get some OEM stock pedals and that's why it's all on the workbench because why not do it that way um, since I already had them out of the car from the junkyard. But Honed has the instructions for you all. Um, if you do this mod from inside the car. They do recommend getting the uh, seat out of the way to um, have some workspace. But first you gotta take this cover off the gas pedal. Um, it's definitely a little bit difficult because these covers can be old and crusty. But the home kit is really nice and their quality is really unmatched. Plus they give you really nice instructions which most aftermarket companies don't, which is so frustrating. You start off by putting this spacer on with the required hardware, which lines up your bolt holes for drilling. I'm not sure why I decided to drill uh, pilot holes, but that's what I'm doing here. Honed it doesn't have that in the instructions, but I used a small drill bit just to have a tiny hole to get their screws started. But they note that these screws are uh, self-drilling, so I don't know if it's really necessary to do this, but I did it anyway. And I didn't have any trouble getting the, the screws in this way anyway, so everything was very secure. So the kit includes different spacers and different bolt sizes in case you want a different height off of your accelerator pedal. So that's what I'm doing here to try to decide on um, what to go with. I'm pretty sure I went with the, um, the lowest profile I could. So fasten down everything with an Allen key. It's a little bit fidgety, but you'll get it. And um, there you go. Accelerator pedal is done. Looks great. So with the brake pedal, you are given some adjustability to move it from left to right. So 
here, you kind of have to mock up where you want it and use a cable tie or tape to secure it while you make um, your pilot holes. So that's what I'm doing here, marking out um, where I want the pedal. I couldn't really get the cable tie to work to hold it down, so I just did it this way. Um, and drill your pilot holes. Even after drilling though, you're gonna have some adjustability in uh, left to right movement to be able to um, get everything uh, situated. Then just drill in your, your self drilling screws. My install is a little bit unique because I don't have my pedals in the car, so the vice grips came in handy to um, hold it in place while I drill everything. But you can see here, I didn't fasten it all the way down and the um, pedal can move back and forth. Now everything is secure. Got both pedals ready to go back in the car. Looks like when I got the pedals back in the car, I changed out the spacer on the accelerator pedal. Seemed it was probably too high for the spacing and I just wanted it to be lower. Here's the old pedal setup. Here is the new setup. I didn't do the clutch pedal because I just didn't want to remove it and change it all out. I might do it in the future to make it all look more seamless. Here's the difference between my um, heel towing with the old setup. I'm wearing a sock just for kind of ease of viewability. And here's the new setup. I'd say it's definitely an improvement, um, but there's still some difficulties I have to work through. But yeah, that was the install. It's really straightforward. If you're looking to do the kit, I think it's a good kit and it does give you some adjustability in your braking setup. So I do recommend um, checking it out. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode.